Welcome back. Happy Mechanical Mayhem Day to everybody who plays LEGO Fortnite because today is huge for the game. Now, before I go any further, I know I'm not using Axolotl for the first time ever. This is the new Nike Airphoria skin that's actually coming to the item shop later today and Epic Games was nice enough to give it to me early. So I figured I'd wear it and show it off in today's video. It does feel a little weird, but uh, yeah, that's besides the point of everything. We got to talk about the update. So as you can see behind me, I've already got two villagers working very hard on the brand new compost spin and throughout this entire video i'm going to be showing you guys exactly how to make all of these things so starting out with the compost bin all you're going to need are these resources right here you can pause the video at any time but it's actually very cheap to make it and once you make one all you got to do is throw in things like bones i think in this one over here i put in a bunch of seeds and as you can see it produces biomass fertilizer and soil the thing we're going to be focused on the most at the moment is going to be that biomass so let's go ahead and grab a little bit more of that and we will continue on unless you're like me and you prepared for this update you're probably going to need to do a little bit of preparation because these vehicles are not the cheapest to make but once you're ready to make one you can head over here to your builds tab and if you scroll all the way to the bottom you'll see some new rugged rollers i'm going to make all three in today's video but let's go ahead and start with one of the three which is the off-roader so we can put it down it puts it on this little raised pad and you can go ahead and start the build this is going to be my first time actually building one of these cars i wanted to wait until i was recording to do it so yeah we're going to do this together for the first time which is kind of fun there's only five steps to make the entire thing the only problem is like i said if i actually go over here and just pop up all of the resources required as you can see like i said before you can pause the video at any time but there's quite a lot of different things on this list and then this is the hauler the biggest vehicle of all of them and there's even more resources required there either way let's continue on this build we're not done yet <laughs> And that should be the end of the off-roader. The first vehicle in LEGO Fortnite that we have crafted. And the problem is that I shouldn't even be able to drive this thing right now. If I hop inside, as you can see at the bottom, there's no power available for the powered wheels. And that's okay. We just got to go ahead and craft one more item. And if you go over to your crafting table, that's where you'll find the power cell recipe. So if we go over here and we click on the fourth tab, as you can see, we have a power cell, which requires six glass and 50 biomass. Now that we have our power cell, all crafted we should be able to come over here to the front of the car and go ahead and just store one inside as you can see there's actually room for two of them which means you can get even more efficiency and then carry even more inside of your inventory if you're going on long expeditions but for the first time ladies and gentlemen we are driving inside of lego fortnite the steering on this thing it feels a little bit heavy uh oh uh oh uh oh we're going down the hill i don't know if i'm gonna be able to get back up this thing but we're going down at high speeds this is just absolutely insane holy okay so this is nice we got all of our our basic controls as you can see over here you can turn left right forward reverse exit and you can even hide the controls like this but at the bottom you can see that there's three switches as well that's for the wrench i would only assume we have a lot more to unpack with this update but for now i just need to get this thing back up the hill and it seems like without thrusters this thing is not the best at climbing hills but that's okay yep there we go okay with our car back up here we can go ahead and craft our next vehicle which is the smallest one out of the three called the speedster so if we throw this down again the same exact thing it'll elevate it onto this little platform and you can just start the build this one should be the cheapest really quickly i'm gonna build it and then i'll show you the resources required to build one of these Oh, and there we go. That was so easy. So if we open up our build menu and go find the vehicle, I'll show you everything that's needed to build one of these speedsters. This should be the cheapest one, and it definitely is. Very basic resources. You just have to have quite a few things inside of your inventory to do it. But once you do, you can go ahead and open this up again, throw a power cell inside of the hood, and hop on. Oh yeah, and this thing is called the speedster for a reason. Definitely goes faster than the other ones. The only problem is it is nighttime right now, and if you didn't know, they did add an illuminated light that you can tack onto these things things that's part of the update as well unfortunately i do not have any thermal fish which is required to you know put one of them on hopefully by next episode i'll have that today we're focused on the cars so let's keep on going we built two out of the three and the last one is the biggest one over here as you can see we have the hauler and holy this thing looks ginormous i can't wait to build it but unfortunately i need some more materials okay and the last thing we need for this vehicle is some glass so we got that and one more side note with the new compost bin it's actually worth it to start collecting 
breaking bones. If you guys have been neglecting them in your world while your villagers fight a bunch of skeletons, now is the time to actually start picking up the bones. And I kind of mentioned it earlier in the video, but over here, you can actually just drop in bones. And it's actually a super, super useful thing to generate biomass, which is obviously what you need to build a battery. So let's go ahead and actually just make another power cell or two. And another tip I have is also just to throw things in the compost bin as quickly as you can, because the things take forever to generate. Anyway, it's daytime and it is time to get started on the objective of this video. We've already built two of these cars, but obviously, like I already said, there's the biggest one here called the hauler, which looks like it can fit quite a bit of chests on the back, which is exactly what I'm going to do with this thing. The goal of this video, and I'm not sure if this will even work, it's to build a hauler and then bring it all the way across my world to my main base, which I've not visited in over a month. So there's a lot of preparation I'm going to have to do for this, starting with building the hauler, but I can't just build it up here on the hill because I'm going to have to drive it off of the cliff, and I don't know if that's going to be smart. So we're taking our highway to the closest point where I can actually build the hauler and make sure it actually works properly, which is down here. So we've made it down to a flat spot of land under our village, and we're just going to get started on building... Okay, and easy enough, we built our big boy right here. And I'm very interested to open the compartment right here and see how many, okay, it looks like four. So you can fit four power cells in here. I'm assuming this thing will absolutely guzzle energy and you'll probably have to use a lot of power cells, especially if you're trying to get all the way to the other side of your world. Anyway, I'm not quite ready to take this thing on a spin yet. I gotta get a bunch of grand chests, put them here and then store a bunch of stuff inside of them so that I can bring some stuff along the way. I also gotta create more power cells and just prepare overall so I can transport my stuff. So I'm gonna get prepared for that and I will see you guys on the other side. And after about 30 minutes worth of work, just traveling back and forth, as you can see, we have quite a bit loaded up onto here and I'm not gonna spoil everything because I don't wanna tell you what my plans are yet. But what I will do for now is just open this last little chest and put the last of the items inside and we're basically ready to go. If we go over here to our large power center, as you can see, we have four power cells inside fully charged. I'm obviously super excited to take the hauler for a spin but since this is an update video i want to show you guys what happens when you assign your villagers to work on the compost bin because i haven't even checked yet so let's go ahead and check in with fish stick first we'll hit how's your job and he gave us one biomass okay you know what we also have slush here let's see what he is up to how is your job and he doesn't even have biomass okay well um they've been assigned to this for over an hour here in my server and apparently they didn't do anything so we have some inside of here we'll go ahead and take the last of it and make one more power cell for good measures and the last thing in this update that i want to show off in terms of items before we take off is not only the snow but if you didn't know you can now dig up snow with a shovel in the snow biome which makes a lot of sense but you can then take that snow into the juicer and as you can see we have new recipes for a snowberry ice cream and a spicy ice cream and an ice cream. As I click through them, you can actually go ahead and see all of the benefits that they have. As you can see, the snowberry ice cream is very solid. And comparing it side by side with the snowberry shake, you can see that the snowberry ice cream is actually better by five hearts. Snowberry ice cream gives 17 hearts and the snowberry shake gives 12. Spicy ice cream is also pretty cool. As you can see, you get 10 minutes of protection from the cold. I might be wrong, but I don't know if we had an item that did that before this. And then of course, lastly, you have ice cream, which is basically just a healing recipe plus five hearts and plus five hunger not too special but it is a new class of items and i'm sure we're gonna get more and more foods as this game progresses but if you want to make any ice creams be sure to throw them in the juicer anyway let's take one good last look around this place obviously i'm not leaving forever but like i said i have a plan and the plan involves me taking the hauler back to my main base so that's what we're gonna do all right and we have made it back to the hauler for the last time we're about to hop in here and drive but let me go ahead and just throw a few things inside and yeah i I think we're ready i don't know how this is gonna work i have six grand chests and two large chests so i don't know if it weighs it down at all either way we're about to figure it out we got full fuel and we are taking off so it seems like we're actually moving pretty nice i just hope we don't run out of fuel because i feel like we're probably going to either way though as we're driving through here you can already see what's happening we're just destroying every single tree and rock so technically you can just take this thing and kind of farm with it as you can see oh no wait 
Did I just lose a piece of my car? I don't know if you guys saw that too. I, I, I honestly have no idea if I lost a piece of my car. Anyway, maybe we shouldn't collide. But I've got a ways to go in this car, like I said. My main village is so far off the map, you're not going to be able to see it. So I'm going to continue taking this thing for a little joyride. And I'll catch up with you guys when something interesting happens. Okay, and this is interesting. It took about two seconds to realize that I literally can't drive up a hill. That's not going to be great. Oh, no. Oh, no. This thing is going to shambles. What is going on? It's falling apart. Oh, man. This thing is like stuck and everything. What is going on? Okay, and this thing is absolutely wet. Like, I don't know what's going on with this thing. Every time I drive it, it's just deteriorating and I can't even get up a hill. I mean, you guys are seeing this. This is just me trying to drive full speed straight and it's really not working out. So I don't know if it's because my car is just damaged already from running into a tree. I'm gonna have to assume that's why it's just getting absolutely slaughtered by mobs as well. I mean, like what is even going on? Oh, okay. Yeah, they're breaking my car. And now I got hit out of it. Okay, well, I guess there's a few things we have to do now. First off is just build another hauler. I don't believe that you're able to even repair these. So that's kind of unfortunate. I'm building a new one because I'm not sure if you can repair. I guess I need to just destroy this so I can get everything back. I, dude, I have no idea. I, I genuinely don't know. This thing has become an absolute mess. I am going to have to take more time to do this. And I don't want this video to come out super late. So I'm going to wrap it up here. Between now and the last cut, I've had to build three separate versions of this thing that have all all just been torn down or I accidentally hit remove and it ended the build. All I'm saying is I suck and I have a lot of problems with this thing. All I'm saying is I've had a lot of problems trying to build one of these things. It's harder than I initially thought. I'm probably gonna have to throw some thrusters on the back and like I said, that'll take some time. That was a complete failure. Um, now I just have this thing sitting here and if I zoom out, I'm not even far away from my camp. So at least I can get back easily, but I definitely wanna get this video out as soon as possible just to show off all of the cars and new fun items inside of the game. Game. Stay tuned for my next video. I'm gonna get home. I'm gonna reveal what's inside of these chests, and I'm probably also gonna mess with the wrench. Maybe try to get a thermal fish and get that new illumination item so I can throw it on top of my cars and a whole lot more. I'm super excited to keep going on the series. If you guys watched all the way until the end and you're not yet subscribed, make sure you do. We've uploaded three days in a row and we're getting back into our upload schedule. I'm sorry that we missed so many days in a row, but yeah, like I said, we are back. Thank you so, so much for watching all the way until the end of this one. If you learned something or you're excited about the update or literally anything just comment down below i'd love to have a conversation there and with all that being said it's been your boy cast thank you so, so much for watching all the way until the end of this one i'll catch y'all later peace